Dive right in opens with Claire, a young woman whose hotel owner father has passed away, and she is being looked after by her greedy stepmother, who inherited the entire hotel business for herself. While Claire is out on a morning run, she is kidnapped by a mysterious criminal. Suddenly, a wild boar crosses their ear path, causing the kidnapper to drive into a tree. CLA takes advantage of the opportunity to escape from the damaged trunk, while her capture is stunned by the collision. After running away into the dense forest, CLA eventually gets lost and the kidnapper catches her. Claire is kidnapped, where she eventually gets lost. The kidnapper then leaves for a while, returns with clean clothes while she washing her dirty clothes. Claire looks around the house, meets Pierre's twin brother, Ephes, a musician who listens to Franny's play, and falls asleep. If Pierre asks CLA to leave the house, she is certain that whoever tried to kill her will find her if she stays, but Claire persuades Pierre that she will be safer here with him. Pierre admits the logic behind this, but still angrily screams at CLA when he grabs her. She fights him off and he lets her go later, which she does not resist in the morning. Claire went out and saw Vincent with his dog. She asked Vincent to walk her to the vet on the way back. Vincent suggested she stop at a local diner, where Claire told him she used to love playing the violin as a child, but quit after her mother died. When they arrived back at the house, Vincent presented her with a violin, believing she should start playing again. However, Pierre showed up and was angry. The next morning, CLA saw Pierre chopping firewood in front of her bedroom window. Later that night, she heard the TV on and went downstairs to sit next to him. She assumed it was Pierre and he apologized, but said he couldn't resist making her smile. Coily told the twins that Claire got a waitressing job the next day at a local diner when she returned home. Claire tried to call her stepmother, but the person on the phone hung up after hearing her voice. In the second half of the movie, Claire's stepmother watches from the window, while her secret lover, Bernard, helps her pick up a fallen towel. Later, he joins her in a private room where she tells him that they should end their affair as soon as her husband passes, but they should take a break as soon as the passion dies down to avoid her anger. Bernard agrees, but after leaving her room, he rings CLA to profess his love. An angry Maude overhears this call and decides to eliminate CLA. Intent on getting rid of her, she starts to plan her downfall. Later at lunch, Bernard asks M about Claire's recent disappearance. She lies that the girl has disappeared like this before, but then receives an unexpected phone call from Claire and quickly ends the call at the restaurant where Claire works, where all the male customers are mesmerized by her beauty. The local librarian, Charles, even brought his son, Clement, to meet CLA. The town vet, Sam, also showed interest in her. He invited her to a club that evening, where another man tried to flirt with her. On the way home, Sam froze up and did nothing. Claire said that she liked Sam, even though he wasn't what she had imagined him to be. When Em arrived in town in the morning, she noticed everything was clear and went to the library to see Charles. Charles admired her beauty and told her that she was the second angel to visit town this week. Charles also advised Maude to check out the church, as it had a guest room where she could stay for a while. She met the priest and told him about her stepdaughter, who had been missing for several days and had heard her name. The priest said he knew her mother had asked him not to say anything to anyone, as she was worried that CLA would run away again. She also told him that the girl was angry with her mother. Clement goes for a jog with CLA, who likes him, and there's not a single man in town that she does not like. Clement is very shy, and he tries to hug her, but she falls to the ground. He gets up and runs off. Claire goes to church, and she tells the priest about her relationship. The priest says, there is someone in the church who wants to make peace with Claire, and he takes her to see M.O.D. Claire sees her stepmother and embraces her. According to M.O.D., she found the girl because Claire called her and then suddenly hung up. She was able to trace the call from the phone number after Claire told her stepmother the details of the day. Claire says she wants to stay in town where she has made many new friends, and M. doesn't mind her staying for a few days. She has to go to work, so M. offers to drive her back to the city on the way. She suddenly stops at the edge of the cliff under the pretense of having a flat tar, and her stepmother invites Claire to sneak up on the girl. The girl's mother is about to push her off the cliff, but at that point, a pastor rides up on a motorbike, fed by an extra witness, and offers to take Claire back to town to meet her the following weekend. Unbeknownst to Claire, Charles agrees to meet her at the restaurant. Charles approaches her according to her son, Clement, who has locked himself away from her. Charles lashes out at his son, and demands that CLA come to the shop and speak to him so he will stop acting this way toward his father. Claire goes to see Clement after work, tells him that she loves him, and goes to the library to tell Charles that everything is all right. 
Charles and Claire are talking about the book that he gave her earlier during their conversation, and Charles loses control and begins begging CLA to order that he be beaten with the wicker whip, much to their surprise and laughter. On the Sunday, Claire goes to the picnic with her stepmother, Maude, where she is given a poisoned apple by CLA, who is about to bite into it when Clement shows up on the grass, invites her to join him, gives her the apple. She takes it, says she doesn't recognize him at all. Clement excuses himself and leaves. CLA puts the apple down, follows the boy. They make love in the forest in the rain at night, and M arrives at the dance, where Claire dances first with one boy and then with another. Her stepmother orders two glasses of wine. She pours the potion into one of the glasses, but fails again. Clement intervenes and accidentally drinks one of the glasses from Ma when the plan goes wrong. Ma gives her stepdaughter a drink, pulls CLA around, makes CLA feel worse, puts her daughter in the car, pretends to drive her home, drives along a winding mountain road. M.A. confesses to being in love only once in her life. Claire steals it from her after the confession. Mom opens the car door and shoves the girl out. Mom stops and walks to the cliff's edge after she confirms that Claire hasn't moved. Mom leaves her stepmom and goes to the church. She lights a candle and accidentally burns herself. Claire survives and is in a hospital bed surrounded by seven loving men. She regains consciousness, and the movie ends -y.